Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to study power in the wind as well as what is the effect of wind pressure as well as wind velocity when it passes through the windmill. So let us first understand what is the working principle of the windmill. So we know that the windmill works on the principle of converting kinetic energy of wind to the mechanical energy. So this is the basic principle of the windmill. So we have to first find out what is the kinetic energy of the wind. And by using this kinetic energy of the wind, we can find out what is the power of the wind. So let us first understand what is this power. So we know that power is equal to energy divided by time. So we will use here what is the energy. So in case of wind, the energy is referred as the kinetic energy and what is the formula for this kinetic energy so this kinetic energy of wind which is equal to half mv square so what is this m that is mass and what is this v that is the velocity now we know that what is this mass so m is equal to rho into a into v so what is this rho rho that is the density of air a that is the area through which air is passing now in case of windmill we can refer this area is circular in cross section with diameter d so how to calculate this area that is we have the formula pi by 4 d square so we can use here instead of a this formula pi by 4 d square and instead of m we will use here rho a v and here v is the velocity so when we put this value of m here that is kinetic energy is equal to half rho a v into v square that is equal to half rho a v cube and now we will put the value of a so what is the value of a that is pi by 4 d square so we will take here half into rho pi by 4 d square into v cube that is equal to 1 by 8 rho pi d square v cube so this is the final formula for the kinetic energy in the wind now we will study what is the effect of wind pressure and wind speed as it passes through the rotor. So let us first understand what is the pressure effect. So here is the rotor and this line horizontal line indicates the ambient pressure. So if we observe this diagram we come to know that the pressure first increases. Here is the pressure first increases as it approaches the rotor and drops by an amount of delta p as it passes through the rotor and this energy is getting transferred to the rotor so why this pressure drop delta p because this energy in the wind is getting transferred to this rotor so here is the drop in pressure now what happens after some time after a sufficient distance from this rotor the end pressure is again is getting increased and it is up to the ambient pressure that means this pressure is getting regained. Now we will move for the wind speed. So what is the effect of wind speed when it passes through the rotor. So if we observe here this is the wind speed. As the wind stream passes through the rotor, the wind transfers some of its energy to the rotor. So speed means what? It transfers the kinetic energy and its speed decreases because some of the energy is transferred to the rotor. So here is the decrease in the speed and to a minimum in the rotor wake. So here the minimum speed in the rotor wake and then what happens again with wind stream regains energy from the surrounding air so at a sufficient distance from this rotor again here is increase in the wind speed as here before the rotor so if we observe there is the decrease in the wind speed and again after sufficient distance from the rotor there is the increase in the wind speed so we come to know that when there, there is the wind is getting passes through this rotor then what happens there are two factors that are responsible or there is change in two factors that is the wind pressure as well as wind speed so what is the power extracted by the rotor 
so some of the power is getting extracted by the rotor as the wind passes through the rotor so we can say that power extracted by this rotor which is equal to wind speed as it passes through the rotor multiplied by this pressure drop that is delta p now we will move for the power coefficient so what is this power coefficient so we will see what is the definition for that a fraction of free flow wind power that can be extracted by the rotor that is called as power coefficient so what is this fraction of the free flow wind power so there are two factors that is the wind speed multiplied by this pressure drop so we can say that power coefficient is equal to power of wind extracted by rotor divided by power available in the wind so this is the formula for the calculation of power coefficient 